Hello, this is Toph from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can easily rig a model in Blender by using AutoRig Pro. Now, Blender does have its own native rigging system called Rigify. But the difference between Rigify and AutoRig Pro is that with AutoRig Pro, when it comes to setting up the basic primary uh, armature, it does a more accurate job of doing that. Um, AutoRig Pro is not free. It comes in like different price ranges. Uh, for the light version, it's $25. For the 10 user team version, it's $162. For the 20 user uh, version for a team, it's $227. Uh, for the full version of it, it's $50. It's kind of pricey pretty much uh, when it comes to the teams and to the full version. But the light version is not too bad, and for what it can do, it's not all that bad overall. Now, it's for Blender 2.93 all the way to 4.3. Uh, but I'm using kind of an older version of the add-on, so I'm using Blender 2.81 for this tutorial. Uh, I'll leave a link of it below the uh, video so you can check it out yourselves and download it. But once you've downloaded it onto your system, the installation process is still the same. Go to Edit and then go to preferences click on install navigate to where the zip folder is click on that click on install add-on and I'm going to type in auto and here it is just uh, activate it like that At, that's the uh, add-on right there put check in the box and it's activated and I'm, I've got the full version that's why I have the quick rig and the auto rig pro tools here um, but this is just like an overview of how to get started with the add-on. Now I've got a model that I've imported from another software of a human. And some things you have to keep in mind when you use the add-on to uh, rig your model. The best results you can get that I've seen is having your model in the T-pose. As you can see, his arms are stretched out to the side and he's standing up straight. Because there's the A pose and the T pose. The T pose works, seems for me, works best. And the second thing is make sure that your model is in the middle of your scene where the cursor is. As you can see, it's in between the Y and the X axis right in the center. That gives you better results from what I've seen myself. I'll click on one to go to my front view. And the add on is right over here on the right hand side of the user interface. And the first thing you want to do is have your model selected. And then you're going to click on this drop down menu and then click on get selected objects, which is with this right here. So click on that button. And we have two options, full body and facial only. Uh, we're going to just do the full body because the principle and the steps for uh, using the add-on, just the same for the face and the body. So let's, let's stick with full body. I'm going to click on OK. And now we can zoom in by scrolling up on our mouse wheel. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to click on my hand gizmo to move this down so we can get the face part, the upper part of our model. And you have a button here that says Add Next. When you click on that, it gives you this circle point you can add to your model for the neck. So you want to left click, have it just move our mouse around to position it right below the neck there and then left click to add that and once we've done that to confirm the position for that uh, position there the next thing is add the chin this is really intuitive and it gives you a step-by-step -step process of how to add these points to your model So click on add chin once again we get the points and we have it there we're going to move our mouse around like we did with the neck left click to confirm that now, if you're not satisfied with where uh, the point is, it uses the shortcut keys that Blender uses. So, for example, this is G. G is used to grab and Blender, so press it on your keyboard. And now you can move your mouse or the point up again with your mouse. And we're going to place that on the chin again. Left click to confirm that. Add shoulders, left click on that. And we have our shoulders, points for our shoulders here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So left click and confirm that also. Now you have um, a checkbox on mirror. So if you have a 
model that is symmetrical, which means that what's on the right side is the same that's on the left, you can click on activate mirror or check mirror. That way, whatever you do on the right side is also done on the left side at the same time. If you have a model that is not symmetrical, then you can turn this off and just do all the points one at a time. Our next point is the wrist, so add on, click on add wrist. We're going to put that point right at the wrist of our model. Left click to confirm. And we're going to pull up with our mouse. Left click on the hand gizmo. And we're going to pull up. And we're going to add the spine. Add spine, which is probably, I would say, around the like hip area. So left click to confirm that. And we're going to scroll up on our mouse wheel. And left click and drag on the hand gizmo to get the ankles. So add ankles, left click and drag down, and those are our ankles. Now, if you want to add fingers, you can by having this uh, box beside fingers checked. Or if you don't want to add uh, the armature to the fingers, you can deactivate that. But our model has five fingers. And all these settings here you can adjust. Now the spine count is at four, which is fine. Um, the twist count, and that would be around like the forearm area, because when you turn your forearm, the, your hand actually, your forearm actually turns with your hand. So this actually helps with that. So I'm going to bump this up to like three, one, that's two, three. Uh, the neck count can be fine. Now, if you want to still add facial setup, you have that option there, but once again, we're not doing the face. And so we're going to... Go to the next step, which is we're going to click on go, and then it's going to quick create a rig for us. It might take a bit of time, but let's give it a few minutes. And there's our rig. Now this right here is the base rig. It's not the actual uh, rig that we're going to use for the model. It's an edit mode. Uh, but this is the rig that's going to be used to create the bone shapes which will be used to move our model around. Now the next step we're going to have to do is turn this because right now this is an edit mode but we're going to get it out of edit mode and go to object mode. And then we're going to click on Auto Rig Pro uh, option up there, left click on that. And then we're going to we're going to click on match to rig. Left click on that. And this is what's going to create the bone shapes that we need. And that's our bone shapes. Right now it's in pose mode. And like I said before, this is pretty quick, uh, pretty fast when it comes to creating a rig. We're going to go back into uh, object mode because what we want to do now is attach the rig that we've just created with our rig pro to our model. And so with our rig selected, you can tell it's in pose mode because it's in different colors. But when we click on pose in this uh, section here, go to object mode, it all turns orange. And the next thing we're going to have to do is click on our model. Oh, my phone just dropped. Sorry about that. Hold down shift and left click on that rig. And then we're going to go up to skin, left click on that. And then click on bind and give that a few minutes. Oh, it's, it's done. Is it done? Oh, it's not done yet. This process to this step could take some time, but just give it a few minutes and, I, and it's done. And we can see and make sure that it's done by left clicking on our rig there and going back into pose mode. And then we're going to click on any part of our rig to see how it moves. Let's, let's click on the hand there. Press G and there we go. The hand moves with the rig. And like I said before, it does a really easy and great job of weight painting the models or the rig to the model. And it does an excellent job of doing that. Now you have different uh, options here when it comes to binding your rig to your model. Uh, when you click on the binding settings for the engine, there's heat maps, uh, voxelized, Voxel heat, diffuse skinning add-on, and so on and so forth. If you've done heat maps before and it doesn't work, you can just redo it 
and use voxelized instead, or voxel heat diffuse scanning to see which one works best for you. But yeah, this is the introduction to the AutoRig Pro add-on. Like I said before, does an excellent job of rigging your models, does it pretty fast. It's got a lot of options for exporting your models into uh, different um, other 3D software, specifically Unity and um, what's the other one? There's Unity and then there's Unreal Engine. Yeah, those two. It specifically exports them or creates a rig to export into those two specific 3D packages for gaming. But yeah, this is the AutoRig Pro add on, great add on. Uh, the price is kind of high in some aspect, but does the job fairly, very, very well, actually. And that's today Blender Blender Quick Tip. I uh, hope you guys have learned something from watching the tutorial. Download yourself and check it out, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you later. All right, adios.